Hey guys, in this video we'll see how to use Room in Jetpack. Let's click on Hands-on Kotlin. So this is basically a to-do app and here are two to-dos here. So on Clear All, we clear the to-dos. On Add To-do, we add a to-do. Let's click on Save To-do and we see that the to-do is added and we can see it here. On click of this, we have updated a to-do and let's add another to do and let's click on the save to do again and here we see there are two to do's now hello and world this is the project structure here on the left hand side we can see there is a folder called or a package called as database so it has five files in it and there is a components folder which comprises of a sub package add to do and a sub package of navigation. Let's see these files one by one. This is our entity class. Here we define the entity as to do item. So there are three fields in it uh, one item ID, item name, and is done. And the table name is my to do list. This DAO or the data access object. Here we define all the type of database operations. So let's say we have an insert operation denoted by at the rate insert, update for at the rate update, delete for at the rate delete. And if say we want to have custom queries, let's say for deleting all the table, we use a custom annotation of at the rate query. And all these functions or all these operations inside the interface are denoted by the suspend keyword so that we can use coroutines to call these functions. Next we define an abstract class called to do database which extends from room database. So here we create an instance of this database class. Inside the function get instance we initialize the room database builder and assign it to instance variable and we present our name of the database as to do list database. Let's see another file called to do repository. So basically this is an abstraction over to do database DAO and our UI interacts with the database using the this repository. So this repository has all the functions which are inside our to do database DAO. Our last file is the to do view model, which is of the type Android view model so that it can be lifecycle aware. Inside the init constructor, we initialize the database instance. Next, we define all the functions like add to do and update to do, delete to do and delete all to do's. Since our operations in the repository were suspend, hence we can use coroutines to launch these operations in their scopes and in our case this is a view model scope we also have a variable read all data which comes in from the repository and it since it's a type of live data we can use this to observe the changes in ui in the ui under main activity.kt we have this composable called as home view which is this so this is basically comprising or taking the view model which we saw earlier and it's listening to read all data which was a live data. All the items from the read all data it's a list basically and this list of items is passed into another composable called as to do list. To do list is a composable which takes in a list of to do items and the view model. For rendering the list of to do's we use lazy column which takes in the parameter of the list and inside the lazy column we render it using a list item which comprises of a text icon and a trailing which is a checkbox to change or update the to do item it can be done via the checkbox and inside this lazy column we use another state called as name and this name whenever it changes it also updates the view model as done or not done that's it from this video guys. Source code and article links are mentioned in the description below and thanks guys for watching.